hi guys welcome back to my youtube channel my name is jimaima today we are going to start a new series i'm going to release the part one today and by tomorrow the part two will be out so it's about how i combine medical school with um, extracurriculars and when i say extracurriculars it, i am involved in politics and when i say politics i mean some medical organizations gomi global organization for wilderness medicine education and their international representative nimsa i'm the national technical officer on mental health advocacy i'm also involved in ifmsa that's international federation of medical students association i search out for applications and i apply for opportunities i attend whatever webinar or whatever activity that they have i am also involved in ghw and that global health workforce network they usually have some training some webinars here and there and i usually apply and attend i am also involved in federation of african medical students association i am the project coordinating officer for famsa skuma I'm also involved in several other things. Church, I am, I am a back member in church. That's branch advisory committee member. I'm also involved in M1 activities. That's Medical Women Association of Nigeria, Ibony State Chapter. I am in the publicity committee. So, guys, I am in, <laughs> involved in so many things. And I combine all of this with medical school. You get. I combine all of this with keeping up with my relationships and when i say relationships i'm not talking about just romantic relationship here i have friends i have family i have loved ones that i need to reach out to people i care about that i need to um, communicate with and then i also have youtube that i have to keep up to and for those who have followed me on youtube for some time you know that i have been uploading four videos every week for at least six months at a stretch I've not missed any apart from just one week that I went for break last year ending. So I have a lot of things that I am doing. I have been able to keep up with all these activities and still get a distinction in my professional MBBS exam by God's grace. So people have chatted me up asking me, how do you do this? Jeremy, how, 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 how? This is one of my most requested videos. So I have to get this out today. The first tip I'm going to talk to you about is know yourself, please. That in fact, this is even the most important thing I'm going to tell you this morning. Know yourself. Don't say because everybody is doing this, everybody is doing that, you want to do it as well. Don't say because your friend is doing it and is successful at it, it, mean, it means that you too, when you do it, you will be successful. No, it doesn't work that way. Know yourself. Know what works for you. Know if you are really good at multitasking or you prefer to carry one project work at it be successful at it finish it move to the next one work at it be successful at it finish it there are some people who are like that and it's totally normal if you're like that why well, there are some people who are able to carry several um uh, uh, extracurricular activities and still excel at their career or at their academics there are some people like that i don't want to say it out there that it's genetic i don't know but i know my both parents are big into extracurricular activities my mom handled so many things while she was she was involved in church she was involved in so so many activities marriage she had four children raising four children and she was still able to have distinctions and she has four postgraduate degrees my dad oh my god that one is story for another day he was the SUG president in his time he was inv strongly involved in politics he still is strongly involved in politics and he's still excelling at what he's doing so it's like kind of in my blood <laughs> to do extracurricular activities and combine it with medical school and still excel at it so don't compare yourself that's just what i'm trying to say you don't know the backstory of somebody you don't know what is pushing the person from behind and you will just plunge yourself into it and when you now not excel you now start feeling bad and you start thinking that there is something wrong with you no 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 there's absolutely nothing wrong with you it's totally normal please don't feel bad if you are not able to multitask that just means that is how you are tailored and if you've not watched my video on my low self-esteem issues i'll put the link up here i mentioned things that i didn't like about myself things that made me have a low self-esteem when you have that mindset it can make you think poorly of yourself it can make you ha have a low esteem please know that it's totally normal okay it's normal 
the number two thing i'm going to talk to you about is choose your demons wisely when i say demons i don't mean these spiritual powers <laughs> okay choose them wisely okay know the kind of battles that you should be fighting you get don't just carry yourself and get involved in several activities it is not every activity that they put out there that you have to apply for choose your battles wisely choose to carry out the responsibilities that you know you will be able to carry out that is why i started from man know thyself know yourself because i i will keep referring to that statement that is the most important thing here don't go into applying for an a particular opportunity because everybody is applying for it ask yourself if i get this appointment now if i start this youtube now or if i start this dance program now or this art program now will i be able to combine it with my studies or if you're a worker will i be able to combine it with my work ask yourself first before you apply don't go applying for thousands of of, of opportunities and when they come you accept it's not every single opportunity that you need to accept yes i know that there are some opportunities that you are so crazy about and you really want but i need you to be practical here i need you to be realistic here be realistic when choosing opportunities when i got this appointment as a NISA technical officer on mental health advocacy to be honest i really wanted to be involved in SCOMI. for those who don't know me know how crazy i am about SCOMI, that standing committee on medical education but I, I i assessed myself i was like girl can you combine being a top officer in SCOMI with being a NIMSA national officer, will you be able to do it? And then I had to tell myself the bitter truth. So some people that chatted me up trying to tell me, ah, Jamie, I think you should apply. I was like, ah, guys, calm down, no. I know myself. I know Sanu go fit combiner. It would be nice on paper to say, oh, she's the D's and she's also the D's. But I tell myself the truth. I choose my battles wisely. I choose the, oppor- the responsibilities that I accept wisely. And now I've mentioned like how many organizations i've mentioned nimsa i've mentioned m1 i've mentioned gomi i've mentioned famsa i've mentioned ifmsa i've mentioned mention 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 now you see this these bodies these associations i've mentioned here i try as much as is within my power not to accept more than one position or more than one responsibility in each of these organizations i cannot be nimsa technical officer for mental health and i am still involved in SCOMI. I'm still a regional ESCO. I am still a Tususu ESCO. I am ESCO for SCOF. ESCO for AFUMSA. All inside the same NIMSA. Omo, I will die now. You get, I, I think you get my point. So what I did was, I choose one opportunity for each organization. Like, I choose one. So I know when I come to NIMSA, I know this is what I'm supposed to do in NIMSA. When I come to GOMI, I know this is what I'm supposed to do in GOMI. When I come to M1, you get my point. So I don't take one million responsibilities under the same professional body. I try as much as I can to be efficient. And if I take so many responsibilities and so many offices, so many positions under just one same office, I will crash. And other of other organizations will suffer. So I think you get my point. Another thing I'm going to talk to, talk to you about is thank you so much you guys for watching to this point. The last part of this video will be out by tomorrow. I remain your girl Jemima. Bye.